Hey, so every once in a while I get asked how to tell the difference uh, between what the image size actually is on a page and what it should be on a page. And so I'm going to show you how to use the uh, Chrome Inspector and Dev Tools as well as the Firebug extension for Firefox uh, to determine what size an image should be and what size it actually is. Uh, so first off, We've got an example site here, and if we right click on this image in Chrome, we can hit inspect, and it will highlight the element right here. And if we hover over it, it tells us that the image is 940 by 188. And we know because that doesn't tell us a natural size that the image is actually the correct size. Um, and we could also confirm that. Um, that's not show. Oh, wrong browser. Anyway, so what do we say? 940 by 188. So to double check, we can open that image in a new tab, hover over the title, and it will tell us what size the image is, which is the exact same as what it's supposed to be. So that's an example of an image that's the right size for the page. We're going to scroll down here and we have this little photo gallery and if we right click on this image and inspect it we hover over that and we see something a little different it says it should be 643 by 482 but the natural size tells us that it's actually 1280 by 960 in this case that's because it's um, designed to be scaled for retina screens without having to use any JavaScript or anything. Um, but if this were, you know, if natural said 2400, then we'd be a little bit concerned. We'd have to resize that sucker. Um, we'll show you another example over on wordpress.org. They have the same thing going on with this image and probably most of their others. Uh, when we inspect it, we see that it's 466 by 332 on the page but the actual image size is 932 by 664 which again is double the dimensions for retina screens uh, if we go over here to uh, microsoft.com on their windows page nice big header image but of course those are super important to have the correct size otherwise it's going to be crazy huge because they're already huge we inspect that sucker and we see that it's 1600 by 600 just like it should be. Uh, we confirm that by opening a new tab to see if it really is that size. And sure enough, right up here we see that it's 1600 by 600. So that's using the Chrome inspector. Uh, let's show you the Firebug extension. So it's an add-on for Firefox in addition to their regular built-in dev tools that and I prefer the using Firebug it gives you a little bit more information uh, same site here again and we'll go down to this image because we know it's not the right size and we're going to inspect element with Firebug and let's hover over that image and it tells us that it's 1280 by 960 this is a little different than Chrome and here it's telling us the actual size of the image so how do we find out what it's supposed to be? Well, over in this sidebar, there's a handy tab called Layout. And this tells us exactly how big that element is being rendered on the page. So it's 643 by 482. So here we can see that this is what it's supposed to be, and this is what it actually is. So again, it's a retina image. It's supposed to be that big, um, but if it weren't again it'd be cause for concern and we need to resize it so i hope that helps um happy optimizing